They are the only bears at the zoo. His name is Bodo, he's 15, and we have our female Kara, she's 22. And when it comes to bears, the sloth bear is one of the most unique. So this is the only bear species that doesn't hibernate because they don't need to. They have food throughout the whole year. The food they eat and how they eat it, quite different than your typical bear. They primarily love bugs, so they're actually missing their top, middle, uh, front incisors, and they act that muzzle acts as a big straw. So they suck and blow for their food. They go into the termite mounds, they blow into the dust, and then they suck up um, the, the bugs. They also can close their nostrils so they don't get the bugs and the dust up into the nostrils when they're sucking. And though I mistaken it for bedhead, that big hump of hair on its back is actually a saddle. The females use that to keep their young on their back. Um, they're the only bear species that keep their young on their back maybe up to nine months. Stretch! Bodo, put on a show for us. Open. Good. Spin. Cradle. Slam. Good. And that's a natural behavior for them. Uh, they would take the logs, the rotten logs, tear them up, slam them, get those ants out of there. Bodo had me in awe, but he hasn't had any luck wowing Kara, his female roommate. They are uh, a recommended um, breeding pair. He goes up to her and kind of whips his head back and forth and hops and kind of shows off for her, but she does, she's not so receptive. <laughs> no. While they haven't been successful yet, they hope the two will eventually hit it off. You can see the sloth bears for yourself at the Asian Highlands. Mm -hmm.